Oh, welcome to another video. I'm going to reveal another project tonight. I've had this bike sat in my garage now for about two weeks. I've got it stuffed up the side of the YXZ at the moment. It's not a very good view of it, is it? I'll get some more video of it on Sunday, but it's the next project. So what, let's get me torch. Let's just go. Walk up the workshop, find the torch. Have some light. It's a 2015 Gas Gas EC300 Electric Start Two Stroke and it doesn't run. I've already done some testing on it, we've, uh, we've got no spark. Uh, the lot of bike it was. I'd thrown a load of parts at it. He threw a new CDI at it. Plug. And a few other electrical items. Uh, he did actually get it to run for a little while. It died on him again. The spark just disappeared. So. He dumped it with me. He says, yeah, you sort it out. See what he can do with it, see what he can find that's wrong with it, because he's uh, he's lost heart in it. It's in a bit of a sorry state. It's a shame. It's lived its entire life outside under a cover. It's never been garaged. So it hasn't run for a long time. I don't know if you can see down the exhaust. It's looks like it's been immersed in water. Everything is covered in rust. The expansion chamber, it's just a lump of rust. It will all clean up. I'll pull it all apart. But the first task is get it running. So I've got the mag off it at the moment. Because I was testing the mag. And the mag was in a sorry state. It was just a block of rust. Uh, we've checked all the resistances on the mag. And the mag's dead. I've got its flywheel here. It's the only bit there isn't covered in rust. Um, there's a pile of bits there, the fuel tank's off it, the seat's off it, there's the panels in there. But uh, I can uh, I can potter with this to my uh, heart's content and get it up and running. It's a shame. I don't know if we can get the camera down here now. A bit dark down here. Oh yeah, you can see I've got the mag off it. I've got the tank off for access to the CDI and all the plugs, it's easier. Um, I told him he wants a mag, he's ordered a mag, when it's going to turn up with the uh, impact that coronavirus has caused, I've no idea. So at the moment I'm just stuck with a dead bike that I can't even fire up. But as soon as the mag comes, I'm hoping it might turn up. Next week, week after. I can start on it, hopefully get a spark, hopefully get it to run, once I've got it to run I'm going to start tidying it up, cleaning it because uh, it's going to 
going to be a fun bike. They're, they're an awesome bike, these 302 strokes. They're so nice to ride. Just a real shame. It needs some love. It really does need some love. A bit like the poor YXZ at the moment, it needs a good wash. Ah. That didn't happen last week. This really needs a good wash. But I'm going out Saturday morning in it. I've got to go and check on the field. We've got to go and check on the animals. And I'm not going in the car. I want to take the white key because I need to get out in it. I've just given her the once over. I put her on the ramp, got her up, checked everything out. She's ready to go. And I've been pottering inside the cab. Because uh, I've got a winch on the front. And the winch controller was just dangling around. So I've just mounted the winch controller to the grab bar there on a bracket. So that's in now. So that's one less job to do. Still doesn't mean the winch works because under there are all the cables bunched up and I just haven't had the time to connect the winch up to the battery but I can get that done this Sunday as well whilst I'm pottering about. Get the winch working finally. I'll finish that little project and then spend a bit more time making the infills for the mud guards to stop all this mud coming up and onto the windscreen. So I just thought I'd let you know if there's no riding videos because we can't go out because we get locked down. I've got a project. I'll bring you along with the gas gas. Let's see how successful we are in resurrecting the poor thing. And now, everybody, please keep safe. Look after yourselves. Uh, we're in really testing times at the moment. It's a horrible situation to be in. Uh, look after yourselves. I just, I hope everybody comes out of this the other side and we can recover our businesses and we can get all our country's economies running again and we can get back to some sort of normality. Anyhow, good night. Thank you very much. Take care.